This is another one of my reef chemistry videos about additives for your saltwater tanks. Today, I'm going to go over minor trace elements, uh, which are iodide, strontium, and potassium. Let's start with iodide. So, iodide is a safer form of iodine for your reef tank. And invertebrates like shrimp, soft corals, sponges, and worms, um, and other macro algae use iodide to molt and grow. Iodide is removed from the water uh, with the use of activated carbon um, in your filter or protein skin. So typically aquarists add iodide weekly, but small daily doses is always the most effective. Strontium. Strontium should be kept from 5 to 15 ppm, which is the ideal strontium levels. And corals and other types of algae use strontium to grow just as they use calcium and alkalinity. Adding strontium has been shown to increase coral growth and depending on the amount and type of livestock you have, you may need to add once a week or less frequently, such as once a month. Anyone who is keeping organisms that deposit calcium carbonate skeletons, like SPS and LPS corals, may need strontium too. Potassium should be maintained around 400 ppm. And potassium is an important element in the reef aquarium, but it's only consumed in very small amounts and it's normally maintained by regular water changes. So, however, you know, increasingly people are finding that, you know, sometimes a deficiency in their aquariums, especially when they use uh, ULNS systems, and increasing your potassium level in your tank is fairly easy and can be done by using an off-the-shelf liquid additive, just like strontium and iodide. Um, a deficit in potassium can result in lightened colors and SPS, weak growth, and tissue recession. And if you have a lot of corals and taken heavens, I recommend, you know, getting liquid additives. It's, I use the Thrive Aquatics line, and I just really like their line because their high concentrations give me the, you know, the biggest bang for my buck, which I always recommend for you guys. And overall, just get your water tested frequently and know where you're at. Um, it's really simple to take it to your LFS and just have, it do it, have them do it for you. Um, and just, just be on top of your, like, where your water levels are um, and know what, kind of what's going on with the chemistry of your tank. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video helped you out, um, you know, understanding the you know chemical makeup of your reef aquarium, click that like uh, button below, and please click the subscribe button if you are new. Um, I'm George again, and I'm coming off lots of great reef aquarium videos um, that can help you, and also reviews. So, and then also check out my Facebook page. Um, it's starting off really small, so if you see it and it's really small right now, don't worry. It's gonna get bigger. It's gonna grow, and it's gonna help you. Um, you know, be able to see like what I'm doing on a weekly basis with my personal tank. So again, thanks so much guys. George, out.